while you have learned the cultural things of, of living in the United States, you've also maintained the culture you came from. And so I'd like you to comment on that, please. Well, yeah, I've had the culture from the United States, but also since my parents are um, from Mexico, they've brought their cultures to us, and we've um, never lost them. We celebrate um, Day of the Dead, um, for example. Uh, we, we still have the cultures they used to have. Because there are some people who believe that in order to, to, uh, to get profi proficient in English, you have to give up the language you had before, and some people even say give up the culture you came from. What would you tell someone who said that? Um, well, no, because uh, first of all, you, that's your uh, culture, but it's also good to learn a second language. So you can come bilingual, and also it's a good um, chance for a better job or something. Boy, that's the truth, yes. uh, being bilingual. <laughs> I'm glad you recognize that. Now I ask a similar question to Jennifer's sister, Rocio. Rocio, I'm going to ask you somewhat the same, the same mm -hmm. kind of questions. Uh, I have uh, come across in, in my career as a teacher, uh, there used to be a belief, and thank goodness it's not real strong anymore, it's as if the brain can only hold one language. And so I would actually have people from a Spanish-speaking family mm -hmm. come to me and say, oh, don't worry, we don't speak Spanish at all at home. Hmm. And I just have to say, well, that's really sad because yeah. that's, your, that's the first language you learn. That's the language of your family. Yeah. So uh, could you tell us how, uh, how you, you know, kind of respond to that kind of thing if, if I were one of those people and said, oh, well, if you want to learn English, you have to forget your Spanish. Yeah, uh, actually, there's a lot of families right now who in order to try to get their daughters or sons to speak perfect English, they don't speak their native um, language to them. And the kids don't learn Spanish. There's some uh, people that come, wow, your daughters are bilingual. Um, I wish I would have taught my children how to speak Spanish when they were young. And it's like, you could have done that, but you decided to ignore that. And because of that, you know, your child isn't bilingual and there's no there's not a lot of opportunities for them, and they, if they want, they can, instead of going for bilingual, they could have gone for tri-bilingual and so many other languages already having the Spanish and English, which is the majority here. And I think that parents should teach their uh, children uh, Spanish and uh, be able to teach them their native language. It's so important right now to be able to speak both languages. And how does it feel to be bilingual? Oh, it feels great. You can go to the store and sometimes you see people who have troubles and you can go up to them and interpret for them and it feels nice. Yeah. Great. Yeah. And I imagine that the language that your, your, your what we call native language mm -hmm. or first language has probably helped you connecting with, with the culture that's yeah. in your family. Yeah. Actually, we still, we speak Spanish with my parents. We've been trying to get them to speak a little bit more English. Sometimes I'll practice with my dad a couple sentences, and he's doing great. He's really thankful, and he's happy that we uh, know Spanish. So yeah. Now I've seen you and your sister and brother at the outreach where your mom and dad are using Rosetta Stone to. Yeah. You know, how, how do you feel about that? I feel great. I feel happy that they're learning a, another language. Yeah, but it might be hard sometimes. But we always tell them keep pushing forward, and I'm like, what did you get? No, you need to get better than that. And we keep trying to push them to learn another language, which is English, yeah. And that does point out something that a lot of people don't realize, because a lot of people in the United States haven't learned a second language. It's hard work, yeah. right? English especially. Yeah. Yeah. It is hard work. You, you don't just wake up one morning speaking <laughs> English, do you? It's hard work and it takes time. But it is worth the trouble. Yeah. And, I, and I'm so proud of all of you guys because you demonstrate that every day. Just remember that we're working on learning uh, a higher level of English, on ramping up our English. And these are some good examples of some attitudes that will get you there while you're doing this, what I call, long road to English proficiency.